Yomiya is a single target pyro normal attack master and today we're gonna to be going over the best ways to utilize her from weapon selection from free to play to five star weapons as well as artifact selection and the best characters to utilize with Yomiya. Starting out everything that we're going to be building Yomiya towards is from her elemental skill which infuses her normal attacks with pyro damage so we're focusing on pyro damage in normal attack damage and so this will lead us right into our first artifact set that is top tier for yomi which is the new reminiscence set giving the two piece of 18 percent attack bonus and the four piece will increase your normal charge and plunging attack damage by 50 percent for 10 seconds as long as you have 15 energy when you activate your elemental skill this set is incredibly powerful for her being her number one set to increase the amount of damage that she can do with her e based centric skills the other set that you can use here as well is going to be none other than the lava walker set increasing the damage of her active e by 22.5 percent because it does get buffed up by an additional 50 percent going from 15 percent pyro to 22.5 percent pyro for that initial 10 seconds of her elemental skill on top of that it also is going to increase the ability for you to do bonus damage through overload or vaporized reactions giving you just a little bit more damage than if you did not have that additional four piece however this set is still going to be worse than the reminiscent set due to the fact that she attacks so quickly that she cannot proc vaporize fast enough the game will not allow her to do that so you will not be able to vaporize every hit off of a Xing Cho, although that is still one of the best ways to increase her single target damage because free damage is still free damage but just know that this is going to be worse off in situations instead of the reminiscent set the last set here guys is going to be the retracing bowl i'd say if you are using someone to shield her such as zongli or diona this set is going to give you a little bit more tankiness on the battlefield with that 35 percent shield strength but also give you 40 percent increased normal attack damage which is what we really care about here it does do charge deck but the vast majority of your damage is from the aforementioned normal attack damage increase now moving into weapons obviously the thundering pulse was literally made for yomi it is going to be her best weapon by a decent margin 15 percent damage better than any of the second runner-up weapons that she can use there now is that worth it how does it compare to all the other weapons here she works very well with this because she uses her elemental skill she does normal attack damage and it's not too hard to have a non-full elemental gauge when you're using your elemental skill there on Yomiya. The other weapons such as Amos Bow and Skyward Harp come close, but like we said, 10 to 15% away from the top damage of the good old Thundering Pulse. However, she does have some other very powerful options such as none other than the new crafted weapon, which is the Hama Yumi. This weapon is very powerful, increasing your normal attack damage by up to 64%. The only bad downside about the Hama Yumi guys is that the Hama Yumi wants you to have 100% energy for this doubling effect to be activated. And so it does not work super well with the good old reminiscence set because that's going to drain your energy when you use your E and these effects are gonna be very hard to have active at the same time. So keep that in mind there. There also is the rust here, which is incredibly powerful up to 80% normal attack damage increase, which is a massive, massive thing. Both the Hama Yumi and the rust are incredible weapons and can go toe to toe with high refinement ranks even against five star weapons even beating them in some circumstances so keep your eyes on your rusts or your hamayumis if you have enough prototypes to craft those up and if you guys need the full details on the weapon tier list for yomiya why certain weapons aren't listed here make sure you go ahead and check out that video it goes over all of that stuff in details why they're not there Go ahead and give that one a listen give it a like and come on back here when you're done with this video and as always it's summertime fireworks already happened back in july but you know what you need to do hit that like button come back for more hit the subscription button and let's get into it now when it comes to character party selection for yomiya she only needs a certain couple of things she is number one very strong with bennett bennett very powerful healer and attack buffer at the same time yomiya being a pyro character with bennett in your party you can get that times two pyro elemental bonus for the 25 percent attack up on top of that because she is ranged it is very easy for you to maintain full uptime with your bennett ult as she is a ranged attacker so you can just stand inside of his elemental burst radius getting full uptime on that elemental burst on top of that because of her own elemental burst capabilities she works very well with other animal characters other characters such as like hutel have a pretty hard time as a solo pyro character actually applying pyro 
without using their elemental skill because the elemental skills for both these characters to drop off hu tao when she leaves the battlefield will use her elemental burst and that elemental burst is going to do periodic damage so it gives an opportunity for an animal character such as sucrose or kazaha or venti or even the new sayu to go ahead and use the viridus and venmer set and reduce the enemy's resistance to pyro by 40 percent so pick whatever animal character you like as well and then xing Shou is also a very powerful ally even though that she cannot do full vaporizes on all of her attacks it is still a damage bonus for yomiya and the other benefit though from having xing Shou as your partner for yomiya is that just like we said before her elemental burst is going to allow her to apply pyro to enemies while she isn't even on the battlefield which will allow you to build a damage xing Shou and get full vaporizes off of his very high motion value high damage elemental skill for a ton of damage so this is going to be a way to make up for some of the damage that you might lose while she's off the battlefield through the use of shing show look forward to that being a very fantastic combo for you pop elemental burst on bennett do some damage with yomia pop her burst swap over with shing show and then pop a large amount of damage from his elemental skill as well all in all, Yomi is a very powerful and easy to play character in Genshin Impact. Pop that E, do some damage, help yourself to some off the field damage with your friend Xing Cho, Su Kroos, Bennett. That's going to be an extremely solid team for her as well. On top of that, you can also add overload teams to your team comps as well. If you have a high constellation Beidou or a high constellation Fischl, you can do a lot of cool stuff with those characters on top of that so look forward to overload teams yomia is an exceptional character for a free-to-play player due to all the reasons we just mentioned she has fantastic four star options in the rust as well as the hamuyumi both buffing up that normal attack focused centric build that she so desires she also has fantastic options for artifact sets you want to run her in a mono pyro team a lava walker you want to use her you have that old witch's set laying around she'll use that pretty well as well if you're just new to the game you have the time to farm through the reminiscence set that's going to be a fantastic set for her there on top of that are you running a geo squad go ahead and farm up dust off some of that old retracing bolide set and then obviously yes some of the best characters to support her and have her support them in turn are also four star characters bennett fantastic one of the best supports in the game xing Cho as well abuse that man and have herm bonus his own damage off of her own elemental burst and then sucrose as well another solid four star animal character works extremely well with all of the characters we just mentioned so if you get your hands on yomi as a free-to-play player you're gonna have the stuff available to you more easily than other characters do because she is so good with those other four star features hopefully you guys have fun out there with yomi let me know how you're using her down below if you guys want to see more Ganon ship at content hit that sub button you know you want to if you've been here a thousand times before and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys